What did you just get yourself into? Can't tell you. You wanna know why I can't tell you? Cause I don't even know. If you are familiar with what I do, uh, you can even look back on my videos and you'll see that I am a repurposed fashion designer. And if you don't know what that is, that's fine. I, I don't know very many people that do. Essentially, what I do is, is I take thrifted clothes and I alter them to be something that you would never imagine came out of a Goodwill. That was been my life for the past year and a half. It's been a while because I feel like not only did quarantine come and just completely put everything to a screeching halt, but in the in this process of of not being able to leave your house unless it's essential, I've somehow managed to completely change the direction of my of my business so let me tell you why I'm so glad you asked thank you you're so thoughtful I stopped because to put it to put it plainly uh, this is God told me to there we go insert explosion that may not be there I don't know how to do that so just imagine that an explosion happened but I was afraid to not be the person associated with fashion and um, it was almost like I hid behind it like I made it so much of my identity that if it wasn't a part of it I was gonna have a, 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 an existential crisis I was just gonna be like what who am I what do I do in life now am I even real would it, I'm useless like I was just having so many different feelings about it and um, it just came down to the simple fact that I have one purpose if I have no other gifts if I have no other talents I have one purpose and that is to spread the news of Jesus Christ that is my one purpose in life right another explosion maybe not y'all i'm not i'm just not that person maybe i am we'll see maybe there's an explosion there check back but i that was my purpose so if everything that i if if my if my sole purpose in this world is to spread the news of jesus christ to to tell people about jesus and who he is then why am i so caught up in the methods in which i do that one okay and then two why am i restricting myself to one area of influence i think about all of the different skills that i have and all of the uh interests that i have and i realize that there there is more to me than a sewing machine crazy right like I, I, I'm actually better at other things. I'm not just here to push some fabric through a needle. And there are so many ways that God can use me to fulfill his purpose. I'm still coming into uh, the acceptance of that. You know, I'm not even gonna front and sit here and act like I don't have a, a little, like, you know, many heart palpitations when I look at all the clothes that I bought and I'm just like, but what not Jesus cuz <laughs> I have a whole store in my basement what are we gonna do with that but what I do know is that I trust God and I don't have to I don't have to be concerned with all of the details he's shown me so many times that I can trust him so even if I don't understand exactly where I'm going I, 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 I'm, I'm going, I'm going and I'm gonna do it. And the best thing that I know to do is to share that experience with you. So if you're watching this, you are, you're catching me at ground zero. Like this is raw, just exposed. 
I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing with my life but I am so excited to see what happens because I know that there are so <clears throat> there's so many things that I'm destined to do and I I'm I'm continuing to learn how to let go of those limits and just be who God called me to be what in whatever form that is and I'm not finna get caught up in labels and trying to confine myself to a specific industry or a trade or a group of people like I don't care I don't care I'm out here I'm just gonna be doing whatever I, you know hop on YouTube be on Twitter do a podcast do a blog I don't know actually for, I don't know about a blog y'all anyway I am available I am open and I am ready to see what God called me to so I'm excited and I want to encourage you to that if you are feeling that tug on your heart that's telling you uh, get out like leave the don't pass go don't collect three hundred dollars I think that's the amount I don't remember I don't like monopoly anyway the point is if it is if you're feeling it trust God trust him like have you have you even read all of the examples in the Bible of God showing up and just demolishing every expectation that you had but like in a good way though God is so capable of doing anything so don't think that he forgot about you too there's so much in you we were created by a God who is able to do anything so what do you what what could he have possibly have placed inside of you that's ready to just step out and really show the world who God is you know don't 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 be stingy with his glory okay don't be stingy with it let the world know show out and show them who God is and what he is capable of because when you do Mm. Mm. so I had to calm myself down a little bit I was getting hyped you know getting a little excited but what I really want to leave you with is that it's okay trust him let him really use you not just in the you know the cute let him use you that's a call back in church type stuff but like for real let's let him use us to really make some things happen in the world and don't be afraid of whatever way he chooses to do it so i want to encourage you i am praying with you i'm praying for everybody that's going through transitions and places of uncertainty that's the best place to be in y'all for real because it just really gives you an opportunity to see god move in your life thank you so much for listening if you want more if you want to follow me hit the subscribe button and let's go through this together you can follow me actually i just feel super salesy doing that stuff at the end y'all if you want to follow me follow me and I promise that I will keep you up to date on whatever it is that's happening and we can hold each other accountable. We can encourage each other. We can just be nosy and see what's going on. I don't care, <laughs> but whatever it is, just even if you don't need to follow me, just trust God and know that he is going to do some wonderful things in your life. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in the next video.